Hi there, it's Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Elementary OS on VirtualBox. For those who don't know, Elementary OS is a beautiful operating system. It's actually built on Ubuntu, but it, um, it looks really, really nice, really nice aesthetic feel to it. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I'm actually just going to search for Elementary OS in Google. It's going to take me to um, the Elementary OS website. So I'm going to click here and this will load momentarily for us now. Um, so you can um, offer to, and if you do use it, I do suggest you do this, but it is um, donate and purchase instead. But for the moment, I'm just going to click zero and I'm going to click download elementary OS. And I'm just going to click the download button and this will click kick off the download. So why this is doing it, we'll pause the video here and we'll come back momentarily. Okay, so my uh, download is now complete. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna open VirtualBox, okay? So I'm going to click File. Actually, I'm just gonna click over here, actually. I'm gonna click the New here. And I'm gonna just, for the name, I'm gonna put in Elementary OS. And I'm gonna look for the ISO image. So let me, mine is on my desktop, I think. Yeah, so here it is. I'm gonna click on it and open that. And then I'm gonna click Next. I'm going to give a little bit more RAM. So I'm going to give it around four gigs of RAM. I'm going to give it three CPUs. And I'll leave this fella blank. And I'm going to click Next. For hard drive, I'm going to give it slightly more. I'm probably going to give it 40 gigs. Let's just do that. Again, 25 should be fine. Let's give it a little bit extra. OK, that's OK. And we're good to finish. So the next thing I'm going to do is click Start. And this will begin to start up our VM. And just why this is starting up, if you do find this video useful, please do like and subscribe. And also please consider checking out my Patreon where I put up um, handy cheat sheets for Linux and items like that. And I'll link all that below. Okay, with that said, let's go back here and have a look. Okay, so elementary OS is beginning to boot up here for us now, which is good. So what I might do, I might just pause it momentarily when we see where, where it boots up. Okay, great. So we can see we're at this screen here, and this took me a while to figure out um, to actually be able to navigate through the install screen. Um, but once you get installed, you, you see it properly. Um, so what I want to do is you need to hold the Windows key, and you get this little hand gripper and your click, and you can then select your language and then come down and click select. So again, it's to hold the Windows key and your left click of your mouse to get this little gripper, and then we'll be able to step through the install process. So I'm gonna select United Kingdom, because I'm in Ireland, it's probably the closest to me. Uh, I'll select English UK. I'll just click select on this. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna click on the erase disk and install, okay? So I'm gonna click erase disk and install. And again, if you need to move around, Windows, left click and you can move around. Okay, so we will get a warning that they don't recommend you install a virtual, virtual machine, but I'm going to ignore this and continue. Okay, I'm going to select this disk, which is the one we've created to erase and install. I was going to say don't encrypt. And we can see now the installation has kicked off. And again, you can just move around to see that. So again, I'm just going to pause the video here while this is doing its thing. Okay, great. We can see we're, we're done here. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to shut down the system rather than restart it. So I'm just going to click the shut down button now, and that will begin to uh, shut down our system for us. So once it's shut down, we will come back here momentarily. Okay, great. So now that our machine is shut down, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to settings and I want to go to storage. I'm going to click on where we have our disk um, mounted. I'm going to click this little disk uh, symbol here. I'm going to click remove disk from virtual drive. I'm going to click OK. So pretty much I've done that because sometimes what happens is it boots back up into the disk and you're, you're stuck in this cycle. Um, so now that's done, I'm going to click start. And again, I'll just pause the video here so you're, so you're not watching dead air while, while this starts. Okay, so we're nearly there. Um, we get asked these, these questions again. So again, Windows key, left click, and you can just select your language. I'm going to leave it all as English. And uh, it's going to keep selecting. Okay, so it's going to ask me for my name. It's going to say Darren. It's going to ask me for a password. Let me do that now. Rand. Okay, I'm going to click finish setup. Um, 
Okay, so we're looking a little better now, and I've been asked for my password. So we'll log in now. Oh, let's try that again. Maybe I made a typo. Okay. Perfect. And look at that. We're in. Um, so I'll just click, I'll skip, skip all um, and click get started. It's a beautiful OS. Um, I'll do some more tutorials on it and how to install guest edition to make a full screen. Uh, but as you can see, it's a really, really nice OS. Um, so that was how to install elementary OS on VirtualBox. Again, if it was useful, please do like and subscribe. And if it did help, please consider checking out my Patreon for some uh, Linux treat sheets. Again, as always, thank you for watching.